joining Facebook and YouTube. Live mini lesson number six. This is Spencer Kim Lessons. I'm here to help you with your goals on the drums. And this live lesson is called How to Nail Hard Patterns from the Start. Concept is very simple. This will probably be a short video. We'll see because I haven't been very good about keeping them, I don't know, five or 10 minutes. But <clears throat> this is a concept that's not talked about much. I know that I didn't hear about it much when I was starting out and I mean long into playing. So this is something that I have found very helpful and that I hope will help you too. The whole idea is starting patterns right from the beginning and nailing them. And that sounds like a no brainer, like duh, why would I even need you to tell me that? But the thing is, I think um, we as drummers tend to focus on, I don't know, maybe starting out and maybe it starts out sloppy and then we correct it. And then we have it down from that point. Maybe we can play it consistently. Maybe we can even play it perfectly from that point. But the problem is that beginning part is still there. Even if you can play it perfectly after you're correcting means that it's not totally usable. So from a live standpoint, that, that's gonna be really messy for you to perform with. So essentially, I think of it kind of like, you don't wanna be, you know, when you're starting out riding your bike, you don't wanna be like hopping on the bike, starting the, pushing the pedals, and then you're kind of bumping into stuff, and then you're, then you're going straight. It's like, we wanna just be able to hop on and start riding, going straight without scratching your mom's car or, you know, um, crashing into the mailbox like I did when I was a kid. So th this whole thing is super simple. And I'm gonna use a bossa nova as my, um, my demo beat because I know that when I first learned to play the bossa nova, it was kind of like maybe I, maybe there's some flams or maybe it was just like kind of sloppy. And then, and then maybe I felt pretty good about it. And then just kept, kept playing from there. And I'm like, okay, I have it pretty good. I'm good. But if I was called to perform it with friends at a gig or wherever, that wouldn't have been super useful to me because I would have been counting it off and starting it sloppy and then smoothing it out from there. So the whole idea here, again, very simple, is all you're doing, again, I'm using the bossa nova as an example, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, throw in some mistakes there here. Let's see, I messed up there. I'm gonna restart. And just see if I can play it perfectly from the beginning. And let's say I messed up again, just restart. 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 And you're listening for all the details. You're also trying to listen for your problem spots. Are your snare and your kick flamming? Is that the problem? Okay, then maybe we need to work out getting those three limbs to just really line up together and that's one thing you're honing in on. Another, let's say the kick pattern um, feels rushed when you do the two, two beats. Boom, bum, bum. Maybe it's going bump, 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 or rushing. Whatever the problem is, you want to hone in on that, focus it, focus on it, and iron it out. And as you just start and restart and have your, your weak spots or your blind spots, not blind spots, yeah, your, your weaker areas in mind you'll be able to um, focus on those and iron them out. So that's super helpful. And remember, the goal is to have 
you want to have your your grooves in a nice neat little package with a nice little bow around it so that they're actually usable always think about what is usable live okay if you're messing up and then ironing it out that is not that usable live unless you want to sound sloppy live so when it comes to tone when it comes to grooves everything you're practicing in the practice room you should have that in mind is this usable i can't tell you as a you know private drum teacher how common it is for a student to um play something through like they're just learning it and they can play it through like one and a half times and then they stop and they they look at me like like what's next what, what are we going to move on to and i get it um sometimes uh, you, you just want to move on because you're tired of working on something or whatever. But we just don't want to have the mentality of like, I kind of have this, so I'm bored of it and let's move on. You want to go deeper than that so that you can really use stuff live and you can um, use the patterns you're spending your own time practicing. So don't waste your own time. This is to save you time and to make your practice more worthwhile. So that's the, that's the whole lesson. This is a pretty short one. Just remember to restart, restart, make sure you can nail it from the get-go. That's the goal. And I know that there are other elements to making something usable live, like tone and um, working with a metronome or transitioning between parts. Those are really important too. But for today's lesson, we're just talking about starting it and nailing it from the get-go. Um, if you want to grow your skills on the drums this summer, send me a message through spencerkimlessons.com and I'd love to help you. And thanks for watching. Be sure to share and like or send me a message or comment and I would love to answer any of those. Okay, have a good one. Bye.